there are far far better things ahead, than any we leave behind. You can never get a cup of tea large enough, or a book long enough to suit me. I believe in Christianity as I believe, that the sun has risen, not only because I see it, but because by it I see everything else. Love is not affectionate feeling, but a steady wish for the loved person's ultimate good as far as it can be obtained. It is a good rule after reading a new book, never to allow yourself another new one, till you have read an old one in between. Someday, you will be old, enough to start reading fairy tales again. To be a Christian, means to forgive the inexcusable, because God has forgiven the inexcusable, in you. You can make anything, by writing. A children's story, that can only be enjoyed by children, is not a good children's story in the slightest. We are not necessarily doubting, that God will do the best for us, we are wondering, how painful the best will turn out to be. I have learned now, that while, those who speak about one's miseries, usually hurt those, who keep silence hurt more. God can't give us peace, and happiness, apart from himself, because there is no such thing. The Christian does not think, God will love us, because we are good, but that God will make us good, because he loves us. I can't imagine a man, really enjoying a book, and reading it only once. Love is something more stern, and splendid than mere kindness. Education without values, as useful as it is, seems rather to make man, a more clever devil. What you see, and what you hear, depends a great deal, on where you are standing. It also depends on, what sort of person you are. Crying is all right in its way, while it lasts. But you have to stop sooner or later, and then you still have to decide, what to do. We meet no ordinary people, in our lives. If we find ourselves with a desire, that nothing in this world can satisfy, the most probable explanation is that, we were made for another world. Eating, and reading are two pleasures, that combine admirably. Things, never happen the same way twice. The great thing to remember, is that though our feelings come, and go God's love, for us does not. I think that, if God forgives us, we must forgive ourselves. Otherwise, it is almost like setting up ourselves, as a higher tribunal than him. No one ever told me, that grief felt so like fear. Now the trouble about trying, to make yourself stupider, than you really are, is that you very often succeed. There was a boy, called Eustace Clarence Scrub, and he almost deserved it. When we lose one blessing, another is often most unexpectedly given in its place. You would not have called to me, unless I had been calling to you, said the lion. Write about what really interests you, whether it is real things, 
or imaginary things, and nothing else. It is when we notice the dirt, that God is most present in us, it is the very sign of his presence. If you love deeply, you're going to get hurt badly, but it's still worth it. Nothing you have not given away, will ever really be yours. It is a very funny thing, that the sleepier you are, the longer you take about getting to bed. Relying on God, has to begin all over again every day, as if nothing had yet been done. Adventures are never fun, while you're having them. Do not dare, not to dare. Do not let us mistake, necessary evils for good. You can't know, you can only believe, or not. I was with book, as a woman is with child. Spiteful words, can hurt your feelings, but silence, breaks your heart. A young man, who wishes to remain a sound atheist, cannot be too careful of his reading. The death of a beloved, is an amputation. Everyone thinks, forgiveness is a lovely idea, until he has something to forgive. There is a kind of happiness, and wonder, that makes you serious. It is too good, to waste on jokes. What draws people to be friends, is that they see the same truth, they share it. Eros will have naked bodies, friendship naked personalities. People, who bore one another, should meet seldom, people, who interest one another, often. To love at all, is to be vulnerable. He died not for men, but for each man. If each man, had been the only man made, he would have done no less.